Tsunamis are one of the most destructive events triggered by Mother Nature. These extremely powerful tidal waves are capable of crushing everything found in their path. The deadliest tsunamis have formed in response to powerful sea quakes, underwater explosions and volcanic eruptions. Here is destructive tsunamis ever recorded in modern times. On March 2011, people were busy in their routines and daily life. In Tokyo, earthquake monitoring data given warnings of mega outbreak. Suddenly, an earthquake of 9.1 magnitude struck off the northeast coast of Honshu on the Japan Trench. It's and caused the island of Honshu to move east 2.4 meters. Earthquake getting stronger and stronger, which last for six minutes. Trigger warnings for tsunami given immediately for coastal areas. Seashore was just 80 miles away. People were rushing toward higher points. This is the minute by minute count of events. Within just 30 minutes, the mega tsunami arrived at the coast with the height of 40 meters. Tsunami entered in the city with humongous blast of water, bursting the buildings like a wall, engulfing everything that comes in its path. The floating vehicles, trees, and construction materials. 90 miles away from earthquake zone, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was running. Inside nuclear plant, nuclear reactors need to be cooled down continuously. With electricity cable damage, emergency system activated and engage backup diesel for power supply. After 56 minutes, 40 meter high tsunami wave hit the nuclear plant and caused explosion. Diesel generators were destroyed which caused nuclear explosion. After two days, another explosion occurred. Nuclear reactors need to be cooled down otherwise it leads to mega nuclear disaster. Only solution is to send a man into nuclear reactor zone and manually cool down the reactors with the fear of being exposed to radiations. This tsunami claimed the lives of 15,853 people and injured 6,023. Disposing of dead bodies proved to be very challenging because of the destruction to crematoriums, morgues and the power infrastructure. As a result of this, many bodies were buried in mass graves to reduce the risk of disease spreading. Many people were displaced as the result of the tsunami. According to Save the Children 100,000 children were separated from their families. The main reason for this was that children were at school when the earthquake struck. In one elementary school, 74 of 108 students and 10 out of 13 staff lost their lives. More than 333,000 people had to live in temporary accommodation. National Police Agency of Japan figures shows almost 300,000 buildings were destroyed. Almost 4,000 roads, 78 bridges and 29 railways were also affected. Reconstruction is still taking place today. Power cuts continued for several weeks after the earthquake and tsunami. Often, these lasted between 3-4 hours at a time. The earthquake also had a negative impact on the oil industry as two refineries were set on fire during the earthquake. Transport was also negatively affected by the earthquake. 23 train stations were swept away and others experienced damage. Many road bridges were damaged or destroyed. It's the end for now. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.